this of August 6th, 1990, when Peter Funk staged his candid camera bit at College Stadium. What a day that was. The idea was vintage Alan Funt, and it was played out in our little old Jamestown, New York. And here's the story from those who were participants. We're in Jamestown, New York, home of the Jamestown Expos. And the Expos field is going to be the setting later tonight for one of the most unusual candid camera sequences we've ever tried. Because we was fighting uh, uh, for a playoff spot yeah. with Erie. So Tom O'Reilly says, uh, I got a great idea. I got a call from Candid Camera. This is 10 o'clock in the morning. He said, they want to come over here and... I said, what in the hell would they want to come to Jamestown, New York? He said, well, they want to do something on minor league baseball. And I said, they got some teams, you know, they got some clubs. The Mets have got a club. Uh, I think the Mets in were at... Uh, uh, no, they, I don't know exactly what town it was. He said, I don't know, but they want to come here and do it. And I said, well, Tom, I'll tell you. You better check with the front office. Mm -hmm. I said, who knows? So uh, anyway, he, ca he says, I'll check. He calls back and said, uh, I said, I got no problem with it. Uh, he calls back and said, Montreal said it's fine. So when Peter's telling me what they're going to do, I'm thinking, that ain't going to go well. You know, it's not going to. It's going to be. So he told uh, uh, Juan Lopez was managing Niagara Falls. And we were in the, in the race then with uh, Erie. We was going right down to the thing where, and I thought, this is going to screw everything up. I mean, we were like a half a game back, and we had a double hitter. This was in between games of a double hitter. And nobody noticed that the, the two umpires in the first game, when these, when he come out, nobody noticed the difference. I'm going to do it. He says, you know, I don't. He said, that's going to make Baxter mad. And so only Hargis <laughs> knew what the catcher. Uh, I knew it, and uh, Juan Lopez, the manager of Niagara Falls. Nobody else knew it. I came in for the first game and walked into the press box, and the next box to us was all his TV equipment. Expo's starting pitcher, a fellow named Bob Baxter. Now, what Baxter doesn't know is that his catcher is working tonight for the candid camera, and I'm going to pose as the home plate umpire. Now, whenever Baxter tries to throw a pitch, his catcher is going to confuse him with hand signals he's never seen before. In a few hours, there'll be several thousand people here, and of course, they won't know what's going on either. Now game time is approaching, and the crowd files in. Out on the field, pitcher Bob Baxter is taking his warm-ups with catcher Dan Hargis. I'm behind the plate. One other thing. Up in the press box, the game is being broadcast live on local radio station WJTN. Now, the two fellas doing the play-by-play -play have no idea about the candid camera stunt that will soon occur, and we'll listen in occasionally to their report. The best part of the whole thing was Pete and uh, Skip. Skip on the radio. Leads off against left-hander Rob Baxter, and we're set. Now we got time called, and there's confusion between the pitcher and the catcher, so let's get together. How can you get messed up on the first signal of the ball game? Three, quarter, little chase. All right, cool. It's ridiculous. I mean, this is the 48th game of the season, fans. Uh, if you don't have your signal straight by this time, I mean, you open up with a fastball. Nine times out of ten. Number, just, just a minute. What, what, what is going on? Not putting down numbers. He's putting down an old, yeah, an old loop. How long do you two guys play together? You don't know the signals. Let's go. We've never done that before. What? Nice signals. Nice signals. Come on now. Fellas, we've been out here five minutes. We haven't thrown a pitch yet. Let's put down the numbers. Huh? Right. 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 You did. You just missed it. I don't know what that is, then. It's not a good thing. 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 It's not a good thing.
You think you can do this now? We're going to get your manager out here and, and, and get you out of this game, yeah, fella. I don't know what these are, Dan. Hey, make sure you keep an eye on me, man. I'm watching you. We haven't started the ball game yet. I'll tell you, maybe it's time for Baxter to get himself a set of glasses. They ought to take him to the optometrist tomorrow to get him examined, as Hargis uh, evidently not the culprit. Uh, he doesn't seem to believe it either for some reason. Right? I don't understand what's going on here. I absolutely don't understand. Looks like Baxter is ready. He's looking in, and he's still nodding no. Still nodding no, and I don't know what he's doing. He's still nodding no. As if he can't see or something. His time is gone. Now the home plate umpire is going to go over and talk to management, I believe, or they're going to put him on base. So it's good news for the refreshment stand. You folks are down there in the refreshment area. Uh, stay in line. <laughs> we haven't started the ball game yet. I don't have all night to play this game. Well, he's pitched uh, since he what? Since you were in Little League? Okay, not giving any numbers. Who has it? Yeah, he's always going like this, like this, like this. Hey, what? He's not putting about numbers. numbers. Oh, I'm no, wait, hey, you get back behind the plate. <laughs> Our team didn't know what the hell was going on. Oh, oh, you're you not giving me any numbers. What you doing? If I'm giving numbers, I'll throw it. And what's he giving you? He's giving me this and this and this. And what does that mean? No idea. What? No idea. No idea. You don't know what it means? No, Just a minute. I'll right, throw you right. on you out of here. Right. What does it mean? What does this mean? No idea. No idea. Are you going to throw a pitch tonight, or are we yeah. going to stand here and talk it's about it? It's on a one. Awesome. Are you going to play ball? Of course yeah, I'm going to give you one more chance to have this fella play ball. Otherwise, we're going to run him out of here. We're not going to have any more pitches. Well, we're going to then we're going to forfeit. All right, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Okay, we're still waiting the first pitch. We're getting time called again, and now the umpire again going out to talk to the pitcher. And he pointed, he's out of there. He threw Baxter out of the ball game. Show him out of the game. Look at Baxter. He just dropped the ball and walked off. <laughs> he threw Baxter out of the ball game. One of the most unbelievable things in the history of professional baseball we're seeing right here. My name's Peter Funch. And I do the Candid Camera Show, Bob. <laughs> You on candid camera. Now, there's the camera up there taking your picture. And you are one of the nicest guys we've ever caught on candid camera, although you're shaking like a leaf. Been taken. Well, I guess we have. We and I'm stuck in right into it. Believe me, they did a great job. You remember that, LP? Oh, yes. <laughs> Very fortunate that Skip didn't come out with one of his famous goddammits. <laughs> he, he was very close. <laughs> he gets uh, upset quickly. <laughs> it would be something like that. Yeah. No, 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 no doubt about it. it was well done. No, they handled it well. Felt sorry for the pitcher. He, he he was so befuddled out there. The only thing that came into my mind is that, is that you know, Hargis was sick. Uh, I'm doing as you know as best I can. I have no idea what's going on, but uh, you know, eventually it'll, it'll work itself out. What about when the coach came out and was pretty angry with you? <laughs> he was, but I, I, I was out of things to say at that point. I couldn't I couldn't think of anything else to say. I I couldn't defend myself anymore. I mean, I, when you're out in the field, the only People who know what's going on are you and the catcher. Nobody else can see those signals. So it, you know, it was it was my word against Dan's, and, and you know, at the time I guess I was losing, but I, didn't, I had no, nothing else to say. He came out, and I still had no idea what was going on, although I, I knew or I, I thought I was doing everything right. Uh, and he came out and, and uh, finally took his mask off, and you know it, it still took you know three four seconds to to sink in that this was you know somebody from TV. <laughs> And I do the candid camera show, Bob. <laughs> and we just caught you on candid camera. Now, there's the camera up there taking your picture. And you are one of the nicest guys we've ever caught on candid camera, although you're shaking like a leaf. And we've all been taken. Well, I guess we have. And we I'm in it. right into it. Believe me, they did a great job. 